All right, we're at our next call. We have a two-story house. As you can see, even no heat on the second floor, which I'm gonna call the main floor. And uh, he's gonna open the garage for us. See what's going on here. I've been here before. I think I was here on an emergency service call maybe a few months ago. Did some work on the burler. The burler. Let's see what's going on. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How you doing? Thank God. How are you doing? Awesome. Just cold. You're cold? Yeah, it's cold. All right. Well, we'll deliver you some heat. Where, the second floor is not working here? It's just the second floor. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Um, I normally start the thermostat. Can you show me that real quick? Sure. It's up there. I have to just close this. Set for, what was set for 72, heat's on, showing 65. Okay, so we're going to stand and see what's going on. There's the boiler, conversion, New Yorker. That's yeah. hot. So and this is the one that goes upstairs. This one that goes upstairs? Yeah. So okay. you can see that it's it's supposed to be as hot as this. Circulator is hot. This is circulator's hot and ain't spinning. Alright, we just gotta investigate the circulator. Alright, we got a B and G one hundred circulator. She's humming, but she ain't circulating. I already checked the impeller coupling. It's fine. We get power, 110 volts. I'm just going to swap it out. I'm draining down the boiler. Got everything isolated. We're going to swap this bad boy out. Steven is spinning around the orientation of the motor on the actual body. All right. And I'm going to work on taking this apart. I'm spraying. I sprayed everything down with WD-40 to help me get these uh, circulator uh, flange bolts off. All right. Some of you guys will say rebuild this. Um, it's not cost effective for me. All right, I have my electric disconnected. I have my four circulator bolts disconnected. waiting on Godzilla. All right, here, hold that. All right, your flow check. This is in the right direction because it's pointing down. This is the return. We are pumping back towards the boiler. See what we see right there, guys? Oh, wow, Wago. Oh, wow, Wago. We're gonna make sure our flanges are nice and clean, which they are.
right. They're just hand snug right now. I just did it again. You pulled a Godzilla? I pulled a Godzilla. Mm. Righty Lucy. Let me get you a shirt, bro. You should. Gotcha. What color do you want? Purple? <laughs> Maybe pink. Gotcha. How about no pink? Wrong. Is that an available color? Yeah, with a side of uh, skinny jeans. <laughs> and some Ugg boots. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. With Velcro. <laughs> I should get a an open just a little bit. Alright. Now let's feed her some water. Alright, while waiting for that fill up, Steve, let me get the needle nose and the ten and one. Take off the plate. Off the circ. And we'll use the way goes. I go, you go, we go, we go. I think it's 15 and 1. Mm -hmm. Ratcheting. Yeah. One of the subscribers sent that to us. Mm -hmm. How's that going to line up good? You don't want to come on the other side in there. Try to okay. get this. You have to go around that Squeeze way. Squeeze my little ass in there. Yeah, you'll get it. See what I'm working with over here. those Wagos. I feel something dripping on me. Nothing is. Huh? Oh, yeah, there is from that. I see it from that valve up there. 
Oh, okay. So it's splashing on top of the boiler. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Ah. So you guys sent us those Wagos. <laughs> and there they are. Look at that. Let's put the cover on. All right, new circulator is in place. I love my Takos. Much better than the B&G. Number one, they're maintenance free. Number two, the three speed pumps can replace a variety of different other circulators. Uh, one little quick little tip that, you know, this was an oil fired boiler converted to gas. When I first turned her on, you know, the power light came on, but then she went off. The reason why she went off is that I have my uh, triple uh, acting aquastat here, high, low, and differential. So when the boiler temperature dropped low enough, it can stop the circulator, allowing the boiler to recover, and it'll act accordingly. So, there you have it. Running, good to go. Monoflow system up there. We are circulating, coming back blazing hot. Let's feel one of the supply. Ow. Yep, she's hot. Right around 165 degrees. So we are good to go. We're just going to use our thermal imaging camera upstairs to make sure all of the convectors are uh, getting hot.